Good afternoon, YouTube. Fat Cat Collections back at you with another long overdue Invicta watch review. And uh, today I'd like to review uh, one I got for my birthday for my folks. Thanks, Mom and Dad. Uh, this is a fantastic watch, and I'm really excited to review it. So, okay, so you guys have seen my Invicta review on the excursion, right? Probably about like, I don't know, a couple months ago, I picked up an all black. Combat Edition Invicta Excursion. I said I really want to get a black watch in my collection because I want to wear a little black earrings. My girlfriend got me a little black diamond earrings for my uh, my birthday, uh, which I just had recently. So thank you, hon. Uh, and I, I I like the way the black jewelry looks. I've always wanted to have a black diamond watch. Now it's hard for me to rationalize spending. There's a couple black diamond Invicta watches that use spinal or black real diamonds. Okay. And there's a Jason Taylor edition, which is the Noma, Sawako Noma 5 with a black diamond bezel, and it is sick. But it's like $2,500, $3,000. Now, again, I have two Sawako Nomas, Noma 5s, and you guys know I friggin' love Invicta watches. They're my favorite watch ever made. I'm always looking at other brands. It's just for what you get for the money, Invicta just fits my personality. I love them. Are they the best watch available on the internet or in the world? No, of course not. But they're a great freaking value. They give you a exceptionally produced, amazing product. I mean, in their price point, they blow everybody out of the water, in my opinion. I mean, I think that everybody else marks their stuff up way too much. Uh, these things, I mean, are fantastic. So that's just my opinion to saying the quality of Victa is, uh, is amazing. And you, you guys obviously know that I have so many of them. But with that being said, I would not rationalize spending $2,500 on an Invicta watch because... It's still some Aqua Noma 5 that I got for, you know, $350 and $250. So just because it's black, Jason Taylor, and has some diamonds on it, to me, I would never do it. Plus, I was, like, really well off. And at that point, you could take whatever you want and have something done. Like, I would take a black uh, Sea Hunter 3, you know, and have somebody, you know, recess those in there, do a custom bezel. This guy's living when he got money. I'm just a regular working guy. So I got to go with what I can go with. And I would rationalize that. But... I've always wanted the black watch in my collection, preferably with st black stones, but that's not really going to happen. So what I did pick up is this bad boy right here, and the price point was right on it. I've seen this watch for a while. I've had my eye on it for a while, but not in the black. And what I did, when I had the excursion before, I sent it back because it was just like a black watch. Now, nothing against G-Shock, nothing against all black watches. doesn't fit my personality, but I did want something where I could wear a little black jewelry, you know, when I feel like wearing black, be a little more subdued and still be kind of flashy. And this watch pretty much handled what I was looking for. And so this one here is your Invicta 50 millimeter Jason Taylor edition. This is my first Jason Taylor. Um, they call it Jason Taylor's uh, signature chronograph bracelet watch. So nothing really uh, too advanced on the name on it. It's not, it doesn't have your like specialty or sub aqua. It's just a limited edition Jason Taylor edition watch. And it bears some resemblance as far as the case to a Subaqua um, specialty as far as the design, but it's not the case in Cradle. So it's kind of its own thing, and I have seen this watch before on eBay, and uh, I just never saw it in the black. And I'm so glad that I got this and chose this. My parents got this for me. It's an exceptional watch. And what it does is because it has a combination of matte finish black and gunmetal in polishing, it actually looks black from a distance, but you can see there's a little bit of contrast. And of course, on the face, you have what looks like kind of a carbon fiber look on the face and like really deep charcoal. And then you have some of the accents in that gunmetal around the face there. And it's a great contrast where it just doesn't look like a plain old black watch. I've gotten compliments on this already, and I was pretty surprised I did because, you know, it's not over the top like some of your other Invictas. You know what I mean? Like naturally, it's getting complimented. But this thing is a beautiful, beautiful design. Um, the model number on this one here is 16303. If you're interested after the video and picking this up, click my links in description and also click the Fat Cat Watches logo on the, uh, it would be your lower right hand corner where you can actually go to the website and uh, find the stuff for the best deal. You can always go to the description as well and click the dedicated link to buy this exact watch where I got it from. This watch can be had right now for under $200. And that's if you can find it. I'm pretty sure through my links you'll be able to find it. But last time this was available on some of your popular websites, $370, okay, and that's shipped. So I got a great deal on this. It's a beautiful watch. And let me just show you uh, up close. I'll tell you a little bit about it. They do make this watch in a couple different executions. They make it in a black and blue. They make it in the 
which is another one I wouldn't mind picking up, honestly. It's a rose tone in silver. Then you have it in the black and gold tone, a rose tone, black and gold, and then black and silver. And then, of course, a rose tone in blue. A lot of different executions to watch. This is a looker, guys. And uh, let me show you a little bit about it here. A little, a l show you a little bit what it looks like here on the face. And you guys know I don't really do too much up-close stuff. There's so many pictures on the Internet. You guys can look at these things uh, close up. But I just want you guys to see really what it looks like on the wrist. You have a combination on the case of like a little bit of polishing kind of on the edge of the case, which is pretty neat. And then you have a, a uh, brush finish everywhere else. The band is a brush finish. And you can see that the links in between are that gunmetal, that polished gunmetal on your uh, minute markers. Your, what is it? Your every 20 minute markers, you have your gunmetal, some white. And then, of course, the hands are that uh, kind of polished gunmetal. Uh, great watch. If you're looking for a watch, it's black. Subdued, you want that black look, but you still don't want to have something that's just plain. Uh, it is really flashy, let me tell you. A little bit about the watch here. Um, we have a movement. Uh, let's see, it is a powered by the 5040D movement by Rhonda. Does not have the retrograde date as the one I'm wearing on my wrist, the C base. Uh, let's see what else. Uh, Swiss made movement, you have a case thickness of 16 millimeters and a case uh, diameter of 50 millimeters. 990 feet of water resistance. It weighs about 10 ounces, which is interesting. It weighs the same as the 53 millimeter C base in uh, full titanium. So see how the titanium really lightens the watch up quite a bit. Um, it's a fantastic watch. You have your Jason Taylor logo on the back, um, your your black plating everywhere else. Uh, like I said, polishing. Uh, you have a combination of polishing and of course a brushed finish. Uh, Jason Taylor logo on the side of the crown. Screw down function pushers. And the rest is pretty much standard on your Invicta watches. So without further ado, let's move on to what you guys really like to see is what the watch looks like on the wrist. Now I'm about five foot eight inches tall. I weigh about 160 pounds and have a seven inch wrist. So all these watches look really big on me, as they do on most people because they're just big watches. Show you a couple angles here. I'll get back a little bit so you can kind of see what it looks like. That's your 50 millimeter watch. This is a great size, guys. If you're looking to get into Invicta or some of those oversized watches uh, without having to go and jump right up to your gigantic 63 millimeter Grand Octane or Sea Hunter, uh, it's a really great size. It's what you'll find most of Invicta watches are made about the 50, 52 millimeter. And uh, you know, for me, I'm pretty desensitized, so I wish this thing was 63 millimeter, but uh, it's not, and it's still a fantastic watch. You can see that contrast there with the gunmetal and the black and the contrast on the face, it just doesn't look like a boring old black watch. And uh, that's been kind of a problem for me. I've been wanting a black watch for quite some time, and I just, you know, it's just, uh, I haven't been really able to find one for the price point that, you know, makes me feel comfortable. You know, I don't want to go ahead and spend $300 on an old black watch. It's not really, you know, I'll do that on the Thunderbolt, which is coming in the mail, all gold and silver. But on a black watch, I, you know, I like to keep it under 200 bucks, and this really kind of uh, answered uh, that that or kind of responded to that problem there that I was having. You know, what do I get for that price point? It's going to still be black and really subdued, but also very noticeable and very flashy. Uh, again, that that excursion I had, although a lot of people liked it, you know, my coworkers liked it. A lot of people said, "Man, it's beautiful." It just really didn't really work for my personality, and that's what really this is all about. You know, you may not like Invicta, you may you know not like a watch's size, but the point is. We all get what we like to fit our personality, and, and you know, to each their own, and that's okay. You know, the nice thing about collecting something is that there's lots of people doing it too, and it's really fun to share your passion with other people, and that's why I put up these videos. So, guys, I hope you like this watch. Again, this is your Jason Taylor, um, what do they call it? Signature Swiss Chronograph watch. Um, not really any kind of special name to it, so it might be a little hard to find if you're interested in getting it. I will put the link in the description, and again, check out the links at the last six minutes of this video, where you can not only subscribe, you can check out uh, the playlists for my other Invicta watch reviews, and of course, um, you know, go ahead and click Fat to Fat Cat Watches. It does help support the channel if you make your eBay purchase through Fat Cat Watches. Basically, it'll give you it's basically a shopping mall that gives you links to these watches and where I get them from for the best deals from reputable sellers. So guys, once again, thank you very much for the support. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll be doing more videos as time goes on. Check out next week. I'll be reviewing what I wanted for a long time, the brand new Invicta Thunderbolt. 56 millimeter, all yellow, gold, and silver. It's going to be a real looker, and I'm really excited to get it. 
Uh, remember, if you want to become part of the wrist shot action, check me out on Fat Cat Watches at Facebook. Friend request me, I'll definitely accept. And guys, like I always say, you know, if Invicta's not your thing, if Seiko's your thing, Rolex, whatever it may be, as long as you're not a watch snob or a hater, you know, you can be part of the wrist shot action. Come find me on Facebook. Uh, you don't always have to post Invicta pictures. You can post pictures of whatever watches because really this is all about the passion of collecting watches, whatever brand they may be. So again, thank you so much, and guys, have a wonderful day.